Hey everybody, and welcome back to the this part two episode of season two of What's Going On Around Liverpool. This episode name is Uncle Jimmy Goes to the Bar Withdrawn from the Beatles and Drinks Some Beers and Smokes and um the Beatles get left home alone by Drawn. So yeah. Here we go. Man, I hope John picks up the phone. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, who's that? Who's calling me now? Uncle Jimmy, will you excuse me while I take this call? Sure, bud. I can watch the beers and smokes for you while you take this call. Just Uncle Jimmy, don't don't start without me. But little bun, I don't start without you. You're already starting without without me, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Fine. Just leave some smokes for me. Okay. All right, I got to answer this call. Hello, who is this? I'm at the bar with Uncle Jimmy drinking beer and having some smokes. What are you doing? Oh, John, thank goodness you called. Why did you say we would have a babysitter? Why would you say uh, nothing about us having a babysitter? Why did you just say she was just going to check up on me and the Beatles? Because I knew you guys would freak out if I told you guys we would have you guys would have a babysitter. I knew you guys would freak out about it, so I didn't tell you guys about the babysitter. Come on, John. Can you just can you just can you just tell her the we're old enough to watch ourselves? I mean, we're grown ass man. We don't need babysitters anymore. Uh, George, I would really like to help you. I really would, but it's too late. Carly from season one is already there babysitting you and watching you so you guys don't get into wild trouble. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be at the bar smoking some cigarettes and um drinking some beer with Uncle Jimmy, so don't bother me for another two hours. Fine. Goodbye, John. I'm sorry I even bothered you. Okay. Goodbye. I'll be home in a little while. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, what did John say? Did John say we're old enough to watch ourselves? No, John said we still have to go fight it. We still have to go through the babysitter's rules. Fine, I think now I know why they call it weirdness of Liverpool now, because stuff like this is weird. I know, I don't even know why we moved to Liverpool. We should just give up and go home. Hey, that's loser talk, George, and we don't have loser talk. Lo uh, um... That talk is for quitters and quitters only who doesn't know who doesn't know how to put their left shoe on to their right shoe on. Now who we are, we're the Beatles, and we don't take no for an answer. So we better stay in Liverpool and 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 act maturely. And maybe John, just maybe John will let us stay home by ourselves. But until then, we have to be on our good behavior till John gets home. That's right. Now, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for some pizza rolls, chicken nuggets, pizza, and in the oven and make a super cool concoction. 
Ooh, okay. All right, going to make some pizza rolls, going to make some pizza, going to make some pizza rolls, going to make some chicken nuggets, going to make a pizza pie, going to make a cockshine. All right, let's do this. But then Carly from season one stopped him while he was making his food. Where's the damn pan at? I, I swear I left it right here. Looking for this? Carly from season one, why do you have the pan? I was going to make us all food. Well... Since you don't have the you don't have the courage to make anything, John told me specifically to watch you Beatles while he is at the bar eating, uh, smoking cigarettes and drinking beer. So I have to abide by John's rules, and if I if I don't apply with John's rules, then John might fire me from babysitting you Beatles. And matter of fact, I love babysitting you Beatles. And I want as much I want you to see me make to see you make some food. I can't because John will get mad at me. Carly, Carly, Carly. It's not gonna it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a lot of food. I'm only gonna mix pizza rolls, chicken nuggets and a pizza pie together to make a special concoction. God, that sounds good. But you remember what John said. I can't I can't do any of that. Now excuse me, I gotta I gotta go on a phone call with Dan Schneider to see if Nickelodeon's okay while I'm gone. So you better not you you Beatles better not do any wolf housing until I get back. You hear me? Fine, Cardi from season one. I'll go by you and John's rules. Okay, I'll be right here. Wait, did you change into season two? Yeah, why? I don't know, just curious. I thought you were season one, but you changed into season two so fast. I don't know. I changed back to season two to season one off, and I don't know why Dan Snyder still off to do some stuff to me. Okay, well, that sounds weird. We'll go on your phone call. Okay. Man, now I can't make that pizza rolls and chicken nugget and pizza pie concoction because Carly from season one doesn't want me to make that concoction. Man, she changed the season two to season one so fast. I don't even know why. That's weird, I guess. Oh my god, monkeys! You better change it back! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Paul. We're sorry, Paul. We we just have to get used to this, that's all. Because we, we weren't here for such a long period of time. We need to get used to this kind of stuff. Monkeys! Ah, I know. Just stop doing that, monkeys, or you're fired. Fine. Meanwhile, Uncle Jimmy and Dron were smoking beer were smoking beers and smoking cigarettes and doing all that kind of weird stuff. Oh my god, Uncle Jimmy, you really did that? Yeah, and Maddie just decided, Maddie girl just decided to eat all my cookies when I wasn't looking. When I was in the bar, Maddie decided to eat all my cookies. So I had to go to the trailer to pick up more cookies, and then I ate them. 
Oh my God, Uncle Jimmy. I, I I was wrong with I was wrong about you. You're one you're one cool guy, Uncle Jimmy. I don't know why people are saying such bad stuff about you. I don't know why. Ah, oh, here comes a later now. John was John was about to see Uncle Jimmy's bad side. Here we go. Uh, sir, you're going to have to leave this place. What did you say? Why do I have to leave this place for? What did I do? Well, since you yelled at me earlier to get your packs of smokes, I had to go all the way to your old trailer just to get the packs of smokes and beer. So, you're going to have to leave this place. Dude, I am the all-time grounder, Uncle Jimmy. I can't leave this place. I don't have to leave this place if I don't want to. Now, you get back in the kitchen and make my food right now before I yell at you again. Sir, sir, calm down. I, I, I don't know why you're yelling at me. I don't know why. But you need to calm down. I'll go get the manager right now, and I'll have him, and I'll have him tell, tell him yourself. Fine, go get the manager. Monkeys. I'm sorry. Fine, go get the manager. I ain't scared of the manager, or I ain't scared of your big ass. Go get the manager. I like to see him try to defeat me. Okay, sir. I'm getting the manager right now. Manager to number 10, manager to number 10, we have an angry customer who won't leave us alone and he, he won't leave this place. And he's saying he's a whole powerful being that won't leave this place. Can you come get him off our hands, please? Yes, Roger that. Hey, dude, you're going to have to go up there. And, and and go up there and um and see what and see what he wants. No way, I ain't going up there. Since I'm I'm waiting something for my work, I ain't going up there. Dude, just go up there and do what Michael the keyboard guy says. I'm in the middle of doing my stuff too. I'm watching TV, drinking beer. And eating a pack of smoke. So if you if you don't want to listen to the boss, then go up, then you you're just gonna be fired. No way, I ain't listening to the boss. Dude, you were starting on young Sheldon and now you're working at a bar in heaven. You better go you better go up and see what the boss wants. Fine, fine, I'll go up and see what the boss wants. God, I hate this job. They have me working two hours, two days a week, and I don't even get paid two cents. I I hate this job. I don't get I don't get paid two dollars. I only get paid two dollars a week and they have me working forty eight hours a week. I hate this job. That's two dollars an hour. You're getting lost, Mister, and you're all, and you're and you're and you're getting and and you're getting and you're getting two months without pay. So that's two dollars you lost, and you're getting two hours without paying. Plus, you're working overtime. We're not here to say we hate this drop. Now go and see what they want. Or you're fired. Fine, I'll go and see what they want. 
Yes, hello, what do you guys want? I can hear you all the way from the back. My boss wants me to go see what the main boss wants. Well, this idiot over here won't leave me alone. He's saying I have to leave this place. And I'm saying I'm the whole being of this whole West Front and nobody can make me leave. So you better leave me alone before you better leave me alone right now. Before I get all Uncle Jimmy on you. <laughs> he ain't gonna do shit. That's right, Josh. He ain't gonna do shit. He's just a little weakling like us. Working overtime. Working overtime. Wait, and what's that? Is that a witch's towing shirt? Hey, you work out witch's towing? Yes, I do. And stop laughing at me. Hey, my brother worked at Witch's Towing for a couple of years. And you know what he said to me? He said to me, George, you better not work at Witch's Towing a day in your life. You have young Sheldon and you have all these, all these, all these kids to take care of. You don't need to work a day in your life. Just drink beer and be a football coach. That's all my that's all my uh, uh my brother said to me. So which is towing is is what I'm trying to say is which is towing is kind of outdated and a stupid company. I had more chicken wings than that than I shop at that company. Did you just compare? Chicken wings to my company? Yes, matter of fact, I did. And your company sucks as hell. And what the hell are you doing in the bar with the Beetle? Beetle, you're you're more famous than that. Since shouldn't you be with the Beatles right now? Doing their num doing their little songs and dances and stuff. Yeah. You're over and and you're over here doing some songs and dances. I'm getting all I'm getting all, you know what? I'm getting all the staffs out here right now so they can see what a regrets you you two are. Hey, Grandpa, Michael the Keyboard Guy, get out of here now! What's wrong now? I was here to for... I was watching TV, what do you want? Because he needs a hat and a bib. I know what? He is funny as hell. You know what? You know what? People like you weren't supposed to weren't supposed to have weren't supposed to have freedom. People like you need to go to the Man, shut the fuck up. You know what people's ass, stupid ass. People, you know what? People like you need to go to hell for doing this. Now, I demand more cigarettes. I demand to go in the back and get more cigarettes and beer now. Before I get the belt. Before I get the belt, snap it and, and beat all you mother effers to death. Now, I demand you shut the F up 
and go get me beer and more cigarettes now before I take that gas pump and shove it directly up your ass. Okay, we're going. We're going to get your beer and more cigarettes now. Yeah, we're going to get more beer and cigarettes now. We'll be back with your beer and cigarettes. Don't shove that gas pump to wipe the upper asses, please. <laughs> What? What the hell did he just turn into a mama trunks? We need to get out of here now! We need to get out of here now! We don't want Uncle Jimmy to wait on the thunder! Let's go! Guys, look at this guy. He's not even trying to be scary. Go before he get the fucking gas up and beat your fucking asses to death! Ah, I better go make more beers. Ah. Oh my God, I can't believe you did that, Uncle Jimmy. Yeah, sometimes you need to put a worker in their place. And I just put many workers, the, the whole staff over here to place. Now every time I go here, they better have their beers. They should now have my beers and cigarettes ready every time I come here. That's how I get free discounts every time I go places. I just yell at them. Also, that's why you yelled at me at McDonald's. Yep, that's why I yelled at you. Breaking news. A local Uncle Jimmy, a local Uncle Jimmy just yelled at the whole employee staff at cigarettes and at cigarettes and beer and more over and over and um over in Oklahoma City. Over in uh over in uh, Oklahoma City and weirdness of Liverpool. What? Is that me on TV? And they're talking about me? How we got employees? Oh, I gotta teach these assholes the lessons. Hold my shit. I'll be back. What are you gonna do? Oh, you'll see. The same thing I did to these asshole boys. Fine. So if you see him, please go and run to your guys' house. Hey! Yeah, I'm talking to you! How dare you put me all over the news and tell millions of folks at home <laughs> that, that, that I don't do this kind of shit at restaurants and stuff? You now, you better take me off the air and take that picture down. What the fuck now? Or I'm gonna beat all you guys' butts. No, I don't think I will. And sir, you better get off the set. No, I'm not. Sir, you better shut up. And shouldn't you be at Witch's Towing right now? Yeah, go to... You don't even deserve to go yet. You know, shut the fuck up. You don't even deserve to work at this new studio because you, you are rotten pieces of garbage. No, go on up, John. You go back to Yoko Ono and you tell Yoko Ono to shut the fuck up and leave all the Beatles alone and you go tell Yoko Ono to die and never and never interrupt any of the Beatles again. Now, I've had it with you and all your little Beatles wabbling around, wooing me and John's fun time, and I've had it. Now take me off the air. What the fuck? No! Before I shove that gas pump and that machine and that and before I shove that gas pump and that cash register right over your stupid asses!
No, I don't think we will. And try to do something, you stupid bitch. Oh, now you're calling me a stupid one, bitch. Okay, okay. That's it. That's the fuck it. That's it. That's it. That's it. See this? That's your ass. It's right now. No, turn around. Why? I said turn around. There's no back out that now. You guys had several chances to turn the fuck around and go the other direction and stop this fucking news story. But you guys did, didn't listen to me. Now turn the hell around. Fine, we're turning around. Now, just to warn you guys, this footage is violent, so we're not going to show it. Ah! Oh my fucking god, you stupid Beatles! I had a stupid effed up day, and I don't need you stupid news Beatles coming at me and saying, I shouldn't be doing, you shouldn't be living, you shouldn't be doing, fuck you! No, please stop your stupid news and stop your stupid news broadcast and get me out! Oh, sir, I'm sorry. No, don't even think about doing that again. Or next time, it's going to be all used. Fine. We'll switch to a different news story. Fine. Wow, that is crazy. Man. I, I'm excited for part three to see, to tell all the Beatles what I just faced. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know Uncle Jimmy could do that. See you for episode three of, of, see you for episode three of season two of what goes on around Liverpool. Here we, uh, bye-bye, everybody.